Something that I've never really done on this channel is address probably the biggest concern for a lot of you guys selling on eBay out there, and that is, how the hell do you ship items on eBay? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna break down eight listings that I've got to ship off and show you exactly how I go about doing it, what supplies I use, and how I use and integrate the Australia Post My Business Plan to save as much money as possible. It's a huge, crucial part of selling on eBay. You're gonna to wanna to know about it, and this video has got you covered. All right, when it comes to doing your eBay shipping, there's only a few little bits and pieces that you need on a daily basis to get the job done. The first one, when we talk about stationery, you're gonna need a tape measure. If you put anything into a box, you're always gonna have to do your measurements before you go ahead and submit for payment. The next one is you're gonna have to weigh that box. Satchels, uh, prepaid flat rates, they don't matter. You don't need to measure them, you don't need to weigh it. But when you start to put things in boxes or start to send things overseas, which you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna need these two items. And they are very cheap items that you can pick up from your local timber and hardware store. Uh, we've got a tape gun, just makes the job easier to blast it on the tape gun rather than just using the tape roll. Uh, and then we use some scissors and then we have a pen. It's as easy as that when it comes to stationery. We're only talking about five items. And then when it comes to the supplies, there's only three items. The first one is bubble wrap. I go through a lot of bubble wrap on a weekly basis. Some free boxes that I pick up from Bunnings. I don't have to pay those, and I highly recommend that you guys go to your local timber and hardware and just take their free boxes. You've also got all the bottle shops as well that do the wine boxes, and they work really well as well. And then up the top here, I've got some butcher's paper. I just use the butcher's paper to just fill in these boxes uh, along with the bubble wrap that I wrap the item around. Those three pieces of supplies is pretty much all I use to get my shipping done. All right, this is the first one, but it wasn't an eBay sale. It was actually an Instagram viewer sale. Um, some uh, basically video game uh, strategy guides. Now, this is a really good category to focus on. If you're doing your books, always have a look for these strategy guides. We've got the Elder Scrolls and the game The Last of Us. And these are both brand new and sealed as well. Now, I think there's actually $150 worth of value in these two books. And a lady by the name of Jacinta wanted to get their, her hands on them. Uh, for her husband's birthday. So we went ahead and cut a deal of $100 for these. Uh, I think it's worth about $150 in total cost, total value. Um, so I thought 100 was a pretty fair deal. I only paid $7 each in the thrift, so I've had a big win as well. I've made about $70 profit. Uh, but I'm gonna put them into a medium satchel, put a bunch of bubble wrap around it to really protect it. And then hopefully Jacinta's husband really enjoys these as a bit of a birthday present. Now, I think this next sale is just really epic. When I got my hands on it, I paid up. I paid $50 for this thing, but it's gone on to sell for $140. It's a vintage Nintendo 64 carry case. Just the carry case, nothing else. Uh, but because it is vintage, you can't find these too easily, and that's why it's worth about $150. 5% coupon was activated with this purchase, so it meant that it was about $140 worth of a sale price. Take off fees and post off a $50 purchase, it's a pretty good profit, right? So I'm really stoked about this. It's not, not a, a product that's in my usual repertoire of, uh, of items that I like to sell, but we made some significant dollars on it. So to get this one done, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a really nice shallow square shaped box. So I've actually got to go to Bunnings and pick one up and, and make, it, make it work. But I might put some butcher's paper into the, uh, the carry case itself just to fill it out a little bit. It doesn't really need it. It's not gonna get damaged in the post, but it'd just be nice to do. And, uh, and yeah, sink it into that box and it should be about 10 to $15 to ship off. But Nintendo 64 carry cases, guys, some significant money in this old vintage uh, video game stuff. Now, just picture that I've found the perfect box at Bunnings and I've put it into it, sticky taped it up and whacked the label on it. This one's now good to go. All right, item number three was pretty epic. This one sold for $180. Big, big ticket items here, guys. We've got the uh, Doctor Who series. So I've got seasons one to nine on DVD and Blu-ray here. Plus I've got a couple of additionals, a couple of just extra Blu-ray uh, Doctor Who's that I found that I'm just like, well, why not just throw it on top of the complete series set one to nine? A couple of different movies and different variants there that I just thought I'd throw on top. So yeah, 180 bucks. I think I've got a good cardboard box that we can put this into. Hopefully this will fit. You don't need to overdo it on the bubble wrap either because it is going into a box. It's just nice to do to stop it from moving around. Beautiful. So they both fitted in pretty well there. There's just a bit of a gap in here and there's quite a big gap with the Blu-rays just in there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill that up uh, with a bunch of um, butcher's paper. We'll put all that in there. So we'll just fill in a bit of uh, butcher's paper there and there and there. 
uh, and this one should be fine. And then the last step is just going to be to kill this dead space. And I'm just going to literally cut uh, with the scissors down to the, uh, the butcher's paper there, 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 there. And then I'm just going to fold this in just to flatten it out. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what it comes to. I think it'll be about $15 to $20 worth of postage. But remember, it did sell for 180 bucks. The next sale that we had were these, a pair of Adidas Nemesis footy boots. Uh, look, these ones here, I haven't even bothered to go and clean. You can still see there's a bit of dirt left there on them. So uh, look, sometimes I just don't bother, uh, even though I think that you should. Um, I think uh, I think it was a 37.95 sale price on these. This is them up for 40, got a 5% coupon activated. I don't do anything when I uh, ship my shoes. It's a very simple one. That's why I also love to sell the category. Uh, I don't even put any bubble wrap or anything um, or, or any butcher's paper into the shoe to fill it out. I literally will just turn them around like this and I'll just put them in top to toe into a satchel. I'll just slide them in. They are so durable, they don't get damaged. You can whack them in and you're gonna be completely fine. So really quick and easy, $8.50 for a small satchel on a band five discount that I've got with Australia Post. Um, so about a $30 plus postage sale price. I think that's pretty good. Would have paid about 10 bucks in a thrift store. Made myself about $15 profit. This next sale was another good one. We've got a $60 sale price for George Gently. So we've got DVDs, season one to eight. I believe this is a complete set. I think I had it listed for $75 and I took a best offer at 60. Would have paid about two bucks a piece. I'm about $15 in on these and I got a 60 sale price. So there's gonna be significant profit in that. Um, the way that I'm gonna do this, there are two options. One could be to put it into a box and uh, put some bubble wrap and butcher's paper into it. That will 100% protect it. Uh, or you could go ahead and do a bunch of bubble wrap and then put it into a medium satchel. Both are gonna pretty much work out to the same postage rate. Um, I, think, I think I'm gonna put it into a box, just to make sure. We've got some boxes here, I've got a good size box. I might be able to squeeze it, I don't know, based on these dimensions, maybe into a small satchel price. We'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, when you're in doubt, guys, always go with the box. It's never gonna be more money. Um, you're always gonna get a safer option and a safer delivery for your customer. This box could be just about perfect. All right. Beautiful. Have a look at that. That is exactly what you want to see. No movement there, but I do need to go ahead and do the cut there, right? We need to do that. There is a little bit of a gap. There is a, there is a bit of a gap. I want to completely limit the movement. So I'm just going to put another bit of butcher's paper. Just see that, see what I mean there by that? Just filling in that little gap. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut. Cool. All right, and then we just, we just push, if you just push your hand in like that, you can get it to fold where you want it to. And there you go there, see that? Just a perfect fold over the DVD line that you want, nice and straight line too. And then you do the same here, you just push it in and then fold it over your finger. And that gets it nice and flat there as well. Gets it nice and flat on both sides. And then you can cut off the dead excess because remember you're paying for this. This is everything when it comes to box is de determined on the weight. Um, so I could go ahead and just shorten as long as they connect. That's the only thing that you need to be wary of. But I can save some weight by killing off that. And we fold that over. And then we fold that over. And that looks beautiful. So I'm just gonna take that one up. And there it is, George Gently, gently packed. All right, I'll very quickly run you guys through these three sales. I don't wanna harp on it too much because there's nothing too exciting about it. The first one that we got there was The Bridge. That one sold for about $27, just a three set DVD bundle. We put that into a small satchel with some bubble wrap. Uh, the Fall, we got seasons one to three there. Again, small satchel, bit of bubble wrap, that one sold for about $24. Um, so a couple of really quick and easy sort of three set DVD stackers. And then $19, I got some Power Rangers sold as well. We just put them together, bit of bubble wrap, put them into a small satchel, $8.50. Got them for a 19 sale price, couple of bucks in profit. So three very easy ones there. I'm just gonna throw them into some small satchels now. And the final one that I wanted to talk to you guys about was this one here. We've got Midsummer Murders. We've got season 16 and 17, and they went internationally. They were off to Florida. We've got an international sale, $30 worth of postage, $43 worth of a sale price. So 73 bucks. And I think this will go for about $30 worth of post. Um, and, and I got these for $2 each. So I spent six, turned them into 43. 
a fantastic sale. Now, for international shipping of DVDs, uh, I always go ahead and put them into a box. I don't like to risk it uh, putting it into a satchel. Like I said, I've got so many boxes here, it just makes sense to go ahead and do that. Uh, fill it up with some bubble wrap and some um, butcher's paper, uh, and we'll see how much this one works out to. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is set yourself up with an Australia Post My Business Plan. There's five different tiers of discount, and per the number of sales that you get on a monthly basis determines the tier of discounts that you're gonna get. Hopefully one day you can sell enough items on eBay to be able to get yourself to tier five, and that will give you the most discount that you could possibly get. So I'm just logging into the My Post Business setup now on the computer, and I'm just importing all of those sales that eBay actually integrates. So eBay will integrate all of the sales across for you at a click of a button once you've got everything set up with the Australia Post My Business. The first one that I actually really wanna get stuck into, just because I'm curious, uh, is this uh, Midsummer Murders uh, DVD. Just to see what it works out to, because I've charged them $30 for postage. I've wrapped it up there perfectly. I was able to cut it down a little bit there as well, uh, just to shorten it. All right, so I'm into my orders. Okay, item weight. So I'd ask you to weigh the item. I've got my uh, kitchen scales here. Set it up on grams, just place the item on it. It's 813 grams, so I just enter 813, 0.813. And then we need to measure it. So the length, 23 centimeters, and this will then determine the price. It's all based on weight and measurement. The measurement of this height is, I'll say 12, and then the width, 18. All right, so this one is going for $30.81 with my Australia Post My Business plan. So based on the Australia Post My Business, I'm actually saving a total of $8.94 because I'm a band five. That is a huge discount for international orders. Um, so it's, that's basically money in my pocket. So $30 worth of a postage charge, that's not too bad at all. We'll put that label on it once it's printed out and that one will be ready to go. And then the final step of the puzzle is to go ahead and drop it off at the post office. Australia Post My Business does make it very easy, guys. Once you've got that set up and you're importing your orders across onto the My Business plan, it's in autopilot. You're just filling in the details from home, you're weighing up the item if it's in a box, and then you're taking it, uh, making payment and taking it off to the post office. So a um, couple of things that I really want to touch on in this video around postage was that if you can be a same day delivery with your postage, um, you will generally make more sales. eBay wants you to be on a same day shipping and handling. And trust me, if you're a beginner, don't stress the postage situation because you're only fulfilling an order or two every single week. You're not making a ton of sales. I'm, I do it full time and I do it same day. I, I should probably be the one that's more nervous about being same day to try and fulfill the quantity that I have to do on a daily basis. But for you guys just starting out, you can definitely do it. You can do it on a same day shipping and handling time and the eBay algorithm definitely will thank you for it. Uh, and the other one as well to make more sales is to set up the international postage from day one. Just turn it on, weigh your item, set it up for calculated shipping. It is actually a very simple process and the way to transact it on eBay once the sale's been made uh, on Australia Post My Business is equally as easy. You're literally just transacting the same thing as you would for a domestic order. Um, so super simple to do, it's going to generate you more sales, 10% of my sales come from setting up international postage and I've never had an issue with an item not being received from the buyer on the other end. How you doing? How are you? Well thanks, appreciate it. So thanks for joining me on this little postage run guys, I do this literally every single day and trust me, after a couple of goes at it, you're going to get really confident and it's going to be not even something that you think about. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn a thing or two about how to sell on eBay. Appreciate you being here for this one guys, go watch that video, we'll see you soon.